Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get started, please leave a like on the video below and please hit the big red subscribe button. We're almost at 22,000. Can we get there? Please help me out by subscribing. And now let's get started. So I was analyzing these two polls out of Florida and Virginia. Some of these polls had Trump behind to certain candidates like Biden. They also had him trouncing Warren and Sanders in these states, but looking deeper at the polls, I found a website that aggregates and analyzes polls fairly. Sometimes polls oversample, sometimes polls undersample, and when they weight the polls, sometimes you get a different result than what the polling firm weighted the poll as. These people predicted Trump would win in 2016, and they got pretty much every governor and Senate race correctly in 2018. It's called statespoll.com. And in the polls originally, Trump was losing to Biden by two points, but beating everybody else by a significant margin. And when these polls were adjusted based on party ID, exit polls, and trends, what happened was that Trump would beat Biden by almost two percentage points in Florida. He would beat Bernie Sanders by 10, Buttigieg by 8, and Elizabeth Warren by almost 13 points in the state of Florida. And when they waited out the party IDs in the state based off the exit polls, it's the result that they got showing that Donald Trump is in a very good position for re-election in the state of Florida. However, that wasn't all. The state of Virginia as well, the, the great state of Virginia, it's been trending to the left. It's been a Democrat stronghold for about the past 10 years. Republicans have struggled on the statewide elections uh, for various reasons. But it looks like at this rate that Virginia might actually be competitive. Yes, it's possible. A lot of Republican anger in the state. And when you looked at the polls, the original polls had Biden beating Trump by just four points. But Trump would beat everybody else in the state of Virginia. Oh, uh, You could say decisively. He beat Sanders by a likely margin in the state of Virginia. He beat Warren by four points. He beat Buttigieg by two points. And Biden beating Trump by four percentage points. However, when adjusted, Trump and Biden are in a virtual tie. Trump is actually leading Joe Biden in the great state of Virginia. He's beating Bernie Sanders by 10 points. He's beating Buttigieg by over six. And he's beating Warren by almost eight. That is a very drastic development. It could be an outlier poll. But still, it does show that Virginia, either way, is very well in play ahead of 2020. And I think a lot of people know that. Um... You talk about Virginia, you've heard a lot about Virginia over the past couple of weeks, uh, past couple of months with the Republicans losing both houses in the state Congress, but there is going to be a pushback. And I think that the Democrats might end up paying in the 2020 in the ballot box at Virginia. I'm not saying Trump is going to win Virginia based off of what one poll says, because I think that would be a little hypocritical of me to say. But at the same time, I definitely think that Virginia is very well possibly in play for 2020. It's very possible that Trump could eke out a win there if everything else goes right. But a lot of the things that I've noticed is that Biden is performing well compared to other Democrats. Could this be a factor of the other Democrats just being so far to the left on policy. It's a clear thing for Virginia and Florida. They've been willing to vote for Democrats in recent elections. Florida has always been a swing state going back uh, years and years and years back to the 50s has been a swing state. Virginia has been a red state that's basically turned into a swing state. But now as of recently, partially Trump being the reason why it's changed from a, a, a state that was once a red stronghold to potentially a blue stronghold with Democrats becoming the more establishment party and Republicans becoming the more populist party. There's a reason why Michigan and Virginia have been trending in opposite directions, and that's definitely part of it. And it does look like Trump is going to have to do very, very well in the northern part of the state compared to how he did in 2016 to win. And he's also going to have to energize the base in the rest of the state. The rest of the state does not need to be discounted. And he'll possibly have to do well in places like suburban Virginia Beach. I believe he won the Virginia Beach County, not the city, but I think he won the county surrounding it. I think it was Virginia Beach or maybe it was one of the other cities like Norfolk. Uh, definitely Tim Kaine helped Hillary Clinton win by five points in 2016. Trump is in for a fight of his life if he wants to win the state, especially against Biden. Question I have is why is Biden not tanking? One would expect Joe Biden to go out there and, and start to fail miserably. 
partially because of all the gaffes and all the nonsense that he comes out of his mouth about his hairy legs that I don't think that establishment voters are really paying attention to at the moment because Biden could really be the downfall of the Democrats, especially if these gaffes keep adding up because his favorability nationwide went from positive 10, positive 15. Now his nationwide favorability is like minus three at the moment and it's tanking. And I think that the Ukraine stuff is definitely part of it. And he'll probably will end up limping his way to the nomination. But at the same time, it's just really looking like the state of um, Virginia. It seems like all these states have Biden still running ahead. I think it has to do a lot of it is policy. And the fact is he has the name recognition. But if Trump keeps attacking Biden, it's very possible that he could start to be beating Biden in these swing states in every single poll. We'll have to look at it ahead of the election time because Democrats are very, very happy. They love citing their civics. They love citing their morning consult aggregate maps that are not very, not compiled very well. Um, but it does look like that when somebody analyzes the poll and they wait the poll, Trump's got a chance in even places like Virginia. He has a chance. Do I think it should be his main target? No. I think he could definitely pay from, uh, you know, holding a couple rallies in the state of Virginia, uh, test the waters, look at your internal polling, analyze your internal polling, weight your internal polling, see how it's looking. Because it, in common sense, it would be a long shot to win the state. It's been a state that's been uh, changing. A lot of the people that voted for Bush ended up voting for Hillary Clinton in the Tri-County Nova area. I think that's Arlington, Fairfax, and I think that Loudoun County is the other one. And those are some of those counties I think Bush won. I believe Romney may have even done well in one or two of them. I don't think he won them, but definitely it's it's been hurting the Republicans in recent years from these counties that just have that stranglehold of controlling the state. A lot of people do talk about demographics, but I think that these three counties and people that voted for Bush voting for uh, Clinton are clearly the number one reason why Virginia is in the state it's in right now. Uh, the demographic electorate of the state of Virginia has only changed by a few percentage points, but you've seen a 20% change in the electorate from a red state to a blue state. But it's possible if Trump targets it and he targets it properly, the economy is doing well. You might see some people that are establishmentarians start to question and say, look, I don't like this guy. I really don't like the things he said, but I've got stocks. I know if Biden wins, the market's probably going to crash as many experts have predicted. So if that's the case, they're probably going to take a chance on Trump because Hillary Clinton was a safe choice uh, last time around. Now you have a boring guy who's not really a change candidate, and you have the change candidate being the safe choice. Trump is the anti-establishment man that will actually have the establishment backing at the same time. That's a big, big thing to have a coalition like that to back you. If that's the case, you are looking at the state of Virginia. And if you want to look back at the state of Florida, because I didn't mean to forget about Florida, Florida is important. If he actually goes out there and wins Florida by 5 to 10 or more than 10, especially if Warren's the nominee, which he probably won't be, I do think Biden will be the nominee, but he still has a chance to win Florida by around a few points. And that will be huge. It is his home state. Uh, definitely you're going to have to look at some of these counties and what counties that states poll thinks that could actually be the determining factor. Uh, they do have Hillsborough still in the Democrat column, but they don't have it as safe. That's good news. Um, these people are experts. They got 2016 almost perfect down to the county detail. Um, I think one or two states. I think they had Trump winning Nevada. Trump lost Nevada, but the polls had him ahead in Nevada. And you look at this and you say Duval County is a toss up, but you have him doing a little bit better in places like Broward County, places like Miami-Dade, he'll do a little bit better. And then he'll do better in the panhandle. Every county in the panhandle is safe. It's not even close. So if that's the case, he'll probably will win the state of Florida. Again, these polls just had a, in uh, Florida, it had 625 registered voters. Same thing with the one in Virginia. So I think that these polls can be taken with a grain of salt, but it does show Trump has a chance in Virginia, and it really confirms what we already know if the weighted of the poll is correctly, that Trump in Florida is going to probably win the state. But none of it matters if you don't get out to vote. Register to vote. Get out and vote. It's very important. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Before you go, uh, join the Patreon link in the description. You can get this great MAFSA t-shirt um, with my logo on it if you join the Patreon uh, we have different merchandise for different tiers, so feel free to join the Patreon. And also, follow me on social media, links in description, and join the Discord. 
please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Red Eagle, out.